Well, I've been here since the, uh, the very start, over 50 years now. Like quite a few of the other people we still see around here today, I was still at school. Not for much longer, but I was still at school. Oh, very sad place. Of course, it had been an unmanned halt for three or four years. There was certainly some vandalism. A lot of glass was broken in the canopy, glass broken on the stairs, uh, glass broken on the platform buildings. Some of the doors had been kicked in. Of course, we hadn't got any money, so it was just basic tidying up, a lot of weeding of overgrown platforms, overgrown track bed, odd little bit of maintenance that we could do on, on very, very limited resources. We didn't have a good water supply for three years. Any water we needed for anything whatsoever, be it mixing cement or cleaning windows, um, we would bring with us from home. We'd bring containers of water down with us. You obviously had to make the station look respectable for, for visitors, whilst at the same time there was so much work to do because of vandalism, a theft of lead, which had caused lots of structural problems with the building. We had to resolve these as best we could, but at the same time, the place looked very, very different to what it does today. There was great excitement at seeing visitors, the queues of people down the road, uh, very, very exciting. People wanted to come and see what we'd been working towards for so many years. To start with, for the first few months, we were merely running Robert Nelson number four and number 39, just running between the station and the signal box, giving footplate rides. The first passenger trains were involved with the, the clam bake, the promotional event that was held in June 73 at Quorn Station. And we had special permission to run King Harkon and its Norwegian coach to, um, to Quorn for that one weekend. There's so much that we do now that we never even dreamt of in 1973. If you look at the first promotional brochures and leaflets that the railway put out, there was never any mention of demonstration freight trains, demonstration Royal Mail trains. These are things that have just evolved that, that, that weren't even considered in those early years. Of course, it's very sad that some of those people that did so much, like Bill Squires and Michael North, are no longer with us to see where we have now reached. Yeah.